Craig Cameron here, and in this series of videos, I'm gonna desensitize and show you how to make a brave horse. This is something I want to do with every horse. It doesn't have to be a problem horse. Whether I'm starting a colt, a horse that's brought in to me, they want one that just a better handle. If they don't have this foundation here, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna work with it and I'm gonna put it on them because it's gonna make a better, braver horse. More dependable, a lot safer as well. So uh, again, we started, again, just moving the horse around working both sides, getting the horse to look at us and come to us. Then we did it on the halter, disengaging that hip. Now I'm gonna go to the flag. You know, any tool that I'm gonna use on these horses, I'm gonna introduce it to them first. So here I am right here. When I work up close and personal, I want this horse to understand. So you see, I just put it in my hand like this and work both sides of this horse. Just touch him up. And then when I start using it, a lot of times, I'm gonna kinda put it back here, put it back here. Just let that horse kinda see it and hear it, and eventually, he's gonna feel it. You notice I'm kinda working with rhythm here, a rhythm here, so I can bring it up, put it on this horse, good. Touch him up, pretty soon they'll get to where they like it, it touches them, it kinda moves those flies, but I wanna be able to put it each in every place on these horses. And this horse is doing pretty good right here. You see, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm not touching him with the stick, but I'm really kind of slapping him with that flag. And you see his head start to go up. Next thing that's gonna happen is his feet. I'm not asking him to move. I'm just trying to gentle this horse. Where? All the way through, from the first whisker in his nose to the last hair in his tail. So here's that other side. He's ready to leave. If he wants to leave, I let him leave here, but I didn't ask him to leave here. And pretty soon, it's turning into work. Now, I'm not gonna take that flag away until he stops, because if you take it away when he's moving away from it in a scared manner, then he's saying, oh, I see how to get rid of that thing. So I waited till he stopped, then I took it away. Now, you have gotta use common sense here. This horse is just in a panic and really frightened. Of course, I'm gonna take it away and then start all over again. So I bring that flag up, touch him, touch him. He's ready to move his feet, use his instinct of survival. And guys, I'm not trying to take that away from the horse. Don't try to take that away, it's too important. So pretty soon, he's getting where he's better, better, better. Touch him on his back legs. You see him up by that shoulder. So if he wants to kick, he's only doing what he thinks he's supposed to do. Touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him, touch him up on that chest. Watch, I'm gonna bring it right between his ears here. If he needs to get scared, let him get scared. And pretty soon he'll realize he doesn't need to be scared. And that's called learning. Touch him, touch him, touch him. Sometimes you'll see me just outline that horse to make sure I didn't forget one place on that horse. I'm gonna come over here, do the same thing. Make sure this horse is really good about that fly. Touch, 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 touch. Over in the off eye, then right between here. And that's a good start at introducing the flag. 